Eric, Deanna, it's been just over 24 hours since this quiet Monroe Park became a chaotic and what we would later learn was a deadly scene. Tonight, still several emotions from the community, from grief to shock to anger, all as police continue their investigation. Cheers filling the air as Huguenot High School seniors left their graduation Tuesday afternoon. Moments later, those cheers interrupted by gunfire. Panic, fear, and confusion as people ran from the area. And look at all these people, we out here ducking. Others on lockdown inside the Altria Theater. Outside, a massive crime scene as police scan the area. Seven people shot, two of them deadly. Their names tonight, Sean Jackson, an 18-year-old graduate, and his stepfather, 36-year-old Renzo Smith. This video showing Jackson walking across the stage moments before his death. Police say the suspect, 19-year-old Amari Pollard, was taken into custody shortly after the shootings. He's charged with two counts of second-degree murder. In a press conference today, acting police chief Rick Edwards giving new details into what could have led up to this. I think there was an interaction and then it appears that uh, the suspect went to his car to retrieve the gun and then returned. Investigators say Pollard was not graduating, instead there in attendance. Questions about gang activity are still under investigation, but it is believed the two knew each other. Our investigators have not determined that. There's no information that we have that they are gang members. We believe that the two individuals, Sean Jackson and Amari Pollard, knew each other. They knew each other and had an ongoing dispute. Police say they found four handguns at the scene, saying they're now tracing those weapons. He would not have been able to purchase a, a handgun himself uh, due to his age. Today, city leaders coming together to offer support. Superintendent Jason Cameras still visibly shaken up. I didn't know Sean, but I shook his hand and wished him congratulations about 20 minutes before he died. I can't shake the image of him receiving CPR on the ground still in his graduation gown. And Mayor LeVar Stoney offering support and comfort for his city, still hurting and searching for answers. Your city has your back. We will heal, we will recover, and this will not break us. Now, a big concern from police tonight is retaliation. We're told violence interrupters actually met with the victim's family, working to prevent another tragedy from happening. Eric, Deanna. And Autumn, you've been leading our coverage for two days now, but the fact of the matter is you grew up here, you graduated high school here. How are you processing all of this? Wow, well, thank you for asking that. Um, I haven't seen anything like this um, just in processing it. Running toward the scene and seeing people running away from the scene is not like anything I've ever seen before. Uh, walking past family members, frantically calling graduates saying, where are you? Are you okay? Uh, I can say that that is certainly something that is hard to process. I think something that this entire community will be processing for quite some time. I think you're right. Autumn, thanks so much for sharing your perspective and thanks for your reporting over the last two days. Autumn Children's reporting live for us tonight from downtown.